Lightroom catalogs versus Lightroom collections. Lightroom collections versus Lightroom smart collections. Lightroom smart collections versus Lightroom collection sets. Horrible things. What's the difference between all of these and how do I organize my images inside Lightroom Classic? Inside this video, that's exactly what I'm gonna show you. You ready? Let's get into it. Hey guys, Ryan here at Signature Edits. Inside this video, we are going to demystify how to organize your photos in Lightroom Classic because I understand it can be very confusing figuring out what the difference is between collections, smart collections, collection sets, and how all of this works. So first off, let's talk about Lightroom catalogs. Now a catalog, if we're gonna make an analogy, is kind of like a filing cabinet. So you make a new catalog and Lightroom says, okay, here's a big filing cabinet. You can put all your different files inside this filing cabinet. And so you add all your photos in there and Lightroom says, here they are, perfect, you can find them. So at a certain point, you just have too many photos going on in that filing cabinet to sort them yourself and you need to actually have some structure, some organization. That's what collections are for. So if you open up the collections box, you've got this little plus icon here and you can create a collection, create a smart collection or create a collection set. Now, what are the differences between these three things? First off, let me save you a ton of time and trouble by saying, Collections, 90% of the time is all you need to use. A collection is basically a folder that you're gonna put in that filing cabinet and say Lightroom, put these files into that folder so that I can just reference them really quickly. You're grouping together images and you can have them sorted just like that with one click. So I've got a collection here for a recent wedding, a collection for some favorite images, a collection for photos of cats. You can put whatever you want, just drag photos into that collection. All I have to do is go create collection, go my, new shoot for whatever shoot it was I just did. And then you've got this collection down here. Now, if I go back up to my catalog so that I'm looking at all my photos, I can grab dog photos. Let's say that this was a dog and this was a dog. I could click those and drag those over. And now the next time I select dog photos, you can see that I will be able to see those photos at one glance. So it's just organizing your photos really quickly and simply. So collections allow you to organize your photos into groups quickly and easily. That's all there is to it. It's like a folder in a filing cabinet full of photos. And you can have as many photos in a collection as you want. And you can even have collections that have the same photo in them. So you can have the same photo of a cat in 10 different collections. It doesn't matter to Lightroom, you can put that photo into every collection or just one collection or no collections. So that's how collections work. So at a certain point after creating collections for every photo shoot, you might find you have a ton of collections going on and it's just getting a little bit hard to organize that. Well, that's actually what collection sets are for. Collection sets are just collections of collections. I know, it's like Inception. None of this is real. You're in a dream. Let's say that I had all my photo shoots from 2024 and I wanted to put them all into one little folder to have just easy reference from year to year, all of my shoots. I'd go in here, hit the plus icon and go create collection set. I'd say my photo shoots 2024. And then you'll see that Lightroom makes a new folder and I can just drag all of the weddings or all of the photo shoots that I have, whatever I want into this folder. And so for me, I would make a collection set for all of my weddings, a collection set for all of my outdoor shoots, a collection set for all of my personal shoots. And that way you can really easily organize these things and view all of the weddings at once or go in and grab individual weddings if that's what you need to do. So that's how collections work and collection sets work. Now there's one more option here and it's create smart collection. And this one is kind of confusing because it's sort of like a collection, but it's sort of not at all. So a smart collection is just a pre-made search and you tell Lightroom, okay, I want you to grab all of the images that match this search. I want it to be photos from 2018. I want it to be photos that were labeled with a three star or higher. And I want it to be photos that are in portrait not landscape. You can get really specific here and add as many filters as you want. So let's create one. I'm gonna go, this is a smart collection with photos 2021. I'm gonna go in here and set the date, capture date. We're going to go capture date, okay, is in the range of 2021, January 1st, and 2021, December 31st. Create. And you can see Lightroom's gone through and grabbed all the photos that were taken in 2021 and put it into a smart collection for me. So when would you actually use smart collections? Well, let's say that you're editing your photos and as you're editing your photos, you find that you have a couple of favorites and you mark those favorites with a five star. So you go through, you grab your five stars and let's say that I wanna grab all of my five stars and view them. Now you could do that by just viewing the five star filter at the bottom of your menu. But let's say that you just wanted to see wedding photos that were five stars. Well, then you create a new collection. You go create smart collection and you'd say it's inside a collection set and you'd go with my photo shoots or my wedding shoots or my bat mitzvah shoots, whatever type of photos you want. And then you tell Lightroom, okay, I want it to match the rating is set to five stars and I want it to be inside of this collection set. You go create. So Lightroom will automatically go through and grab all of the five star photos that were also assigned to that category. So that's what smart collections are for. So to recap, you create a collection when you want a folder full of images of your choice and just drag them in there. 
If you have too many of those folders and you want to organize them into categories, you can create a collection set for all of your wedding photos or a collection set for all of your outdoor photos or all of your portraits. And then if you want Lightroom to automatically create collections based on criteria that you set, well, then you create a smart collection. So that's how the collection system works. That's how you can organize your photos much better inside of Lightroom. And trust me, it is definitely worth setting this up because once you have it set up, it becomes so much easier to find photos in a large catalog with thousands of photos going on. Okay. If this video brought you some value, hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment below. How do you use collections and collection sets? Is there something that I missed? I'd love to hear it. Subscribe if you want more content like this and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, create something awesome. Peace.